In a recent tutorial, we showed how to access the calendar in the Troop Web Host mobile app. Now we're going to show you how to use the calendar to take attendance for an event or shift. Like most functions in the app, you can take attendance even if you do not currently have an internet connection. If you are offline, perhaps at a wilderness campout, the attendance information will be saved in your update queue until you return to civilization. Begin by tapping the calendar icon on the home page. Tap on the event. Not all users are authorized to take attendance. If you do not see a Take Attendance button, you may not be authorized to take attendance. Also, if you or someone else has already finalized attendance for this event, you will not see the Take Attendance button. Tap the Take Attendance button to begin. This page lists all members of your unit who are eligible to attend this event. They will appear with a light green background if they signed up for this event. The background will be white for those who were undecided and light red for those who said they would not attend. The page begins with Scouts. If this event is configured to require permission, you will see Needs Permission displayed in red below the names of those Scouts who signed up but who do not yet have permission. Luckily, parents who have the mobile app can use it to grant permission, even in the parking lot as your Scouts are gathering to leave for the event. You can switch to Adults by tapping Adults at the bottom of the page. You will see a red message below any adult whose youth protection status is not up to date. You should take attendance for both Scouts and adults before finalizing attendance for this event. In the upper right corner, you will see a cog icon. This will take you to the Attendance Settings page. The first option controls whether members who have not indicated whether they will attend, those who are undecided, will be grouped with those who said they would not attend. If you select this option and sort by sign-up status, you will see two groups on the attendance list, those who signed up, followed by everyone else. If you turn this option off, you will see three groups, those who signed up, followed by the undecideds, followed by those who said they would not attend. The second option lets you specify the sort order of the attendance list. These options will be slightly different for Cub Scouts and Girl Scouts. Tap the blue icon in the upper left corner to return to the attendance page. It is not necessary to tap on a row where the attendance status matches the sign-up status. So, for example, if Daniel Black showed up for this event, we don't need to tap on his row to indicate that he attended. However, if you do tap on his row, you will see the background turn a slightly darker shade of green. You may find that this helps you keep your place in the list. Do tap on any row where the attendance has changed. While you are taking attendance, you can tap on any person's name to pop up a window with their contact information. You might use this to call a person who signed up, but who hasn't arrived yet, to see if they are on their way to meet up with the group. When you get to the no's and undecideds, you may want to look for the exceptions, those who didn't sign up but showed up anyway. Again, it is not necessary to tap on every row, but if you do, you will see the background color turn slightly darker to help you keep your place. When you finish taking attendance of Scouts, switch to Adults and follow the same process. When you are confident that you have an accurate attendance tally, tap the Finalize button at the bottom of the page. This will pop up a confirmation window. Once you finalize attendance for an event, you will not be able to take attendance for it again from the app. However, you can still make adjustments to attendance from the website. Only after you finalize attendance will you be able to give credit for activities of the event like camping nights, service hours, hiking miles, and so forth. Tap the Finalize Attendance button to complete the process. Tap the blue icon in the upper left corner to return to the main calendar page. And that's it! You've taken attendance for an event. And taking attendance for shifts works pretty much the same way.